Hello friends, welcome to another session of test rail training. In this tutorial, we will learn how to add test cases in test rail. So to add a test case, you need to go into the test rail project and then you can add the test case. So let's select the sample project that I have created. So I'll select the project baseline support and go to the test cases tab at the top. So under test cases, you have the option to create a section and then the test case or you can create on the test case directly. So adding section is important because it will help you to categorize your test cases in a proper way. So if you have a big project or you are part of the, um, the, the big project wherein you have thousands of test cases, it's ideal or it's, it's recommended to have either uh, multiple test suites or if not multiple test suites then at least have multiple sections to categorize the test cases so it's easier for you to report and track those test cases so i'll add the sample section first so click on add section i'll say um, these are um, the ui uh, related test cases so you just click on um, mention the ui uh, as a section and then i'll add another section for um, database all right so once you have those sections you can either add subsection which is uh, a subfolder below that um, and then you add the, the test case or you can directly go ahead and click on add test case and it will give you in uh, free text so just uh, put some um, sample test case here so I'll say sample test case and then click on this little tick so that will add a sample test case below the ui uh, section now to edit this test case so at the moment it has just entered the high level scenario below that ui section to edit this test case you just need to click on this little uh, button here you can change the uh, test case title and if you want to change the title and click on save title again uh, to edit the whole test case click on this little edit uh, icon here and it will open the edit test case window you have multiple templates available so at the moment you can see since I have created two sections here so UI and database um, I can select multiple um, whatever sections that I have created as part of this project uh, it will give me option for that and then there are templates the test case templates available so at the moment the test case text template is selected wherein you have the preconditions you have you can define the all the steps in one section and the, all the expected result in other another section so that is more of a text template if you want to have the steps template you select the second one wherein it will give you option for the precondition wherein you define all your precondition for the test case and then you have the option to define the steps so for example to add the first step click on the step and you provide the step description so for example step one and then expected result one so step one for the expected result and click on save test case so that will add that uh, particular step um, if you want to add uh, more step you just select um, put put another step in there um, so similarly you can keep adding the, the steps below that you want to if you want to delete the step you just click on this small um, uh, minus icon to delete that particular step from the test cases um, the this um, adding image in the step field uh, is an option available or in the expected result so you can add image in the um, step field or in the expected result both then the other drop down or the option available is the type so you can select a different type um, of that particular test case so whether this test case is of functional or um, automated or regression which uh, functionality or which type uh, of test case is this you can select that from the type drop down you can select the priority uh, uh, you can provide the estimate for that test case uh, if you want to add the references you add the references and if this test case can be automated you select the automation type as well 
So that is um, all, uh, that is pretty much all uh, that can be done in a particular test case. The other template that is available in uh, the project is the exploratory session. So if you're writing the test case for exploratory testing, select the exploratory session and you provide, you um, define the mission and the goals for that exploratory test case and save that test case. To, at, to add attachments to a test case, you can directly drag and drop files to this section here, or just click on this section and it will open the add attachment window. The other option um, in this particular template is to delete this test case. So if you want to delete this test case altogether, below actions, you can click on delete this test case and it will ask you the confirmation that you really want to delete this test case. If you click OK, um, I'll say leave page, then it will delete that particular test case altogether. To add test case again, it's the same process and this test case will get added. You can also delete the test case directly from here by clicking on this small icon, delete icon. To go into the details, click on this small arrow and it will list you the details of that test case as well. So that is pretty much all about um, adding test case in test rail. If you like this video, please subscribe to get more details and more information, uh, informatory videos around test rail and other testing. Thank you.